A child, uh, you know, like me, you say, don't go into the middle of the street. Bye. You know, going into the middle of the street is it could cause problems, and the child rejects it and goes into the street and gets hit by a car that you created that. You created the possibility of that by creating the child and bringing them into the world. But the possibility and the actuality are two different things. So what your brother's trying to do is, uh, is uh, you know, kind of skirt the big issue. How can you say there's evil or right or wrong to begin with? Your brother has no place to stand as an atheist to say that anything is wrong, including what uh, took place in the garden, because where does he get his right and wrong from? Well, he says because... Um, he says that, you know, in the Bible it says that he's omniscient and all-knowing. He says that uh, God knew that Adam was going to sin, so why would he bring sin into the world? Because allowing moral choice and option, even if people don't abide by it, is still better than not creating at all. Not creating at all doesn't have a moral value to it. Um, the absence of something doesn't, doesn't make it better. It's not better to not have a child just because bad things might happen. That's morally insignificant. It doesn't have so to not create is not better than to create and have people do wrong. Because there's still an end to this. God not only knows the beginning, but knows the middle and the end as well. So your brother's walking out in the middle of the movie and not seeing the happy ending um, that you will receive. And, and prayerfully, he will receive once he changes his mind. But he's missing the point that it's not just about what took place in the garden. It's about all of these options in between and the final destination, which is heaven. Don, welcome to the Jesus Church. Yes, sir. Hello. Hi, Don. How can I help you? Well, uh, my question is about being a, a Christian and being entangled and the bondage of alcohol. Mm -hmm. um, I understand, I, 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 I would not say well first, but first, anyway, in, in what scripture says about as those saved by through fire. Um, I'm in a 12-step program, and yet I fail many times. The reason I'm in a 12-step program is, is uh, when I pray, I, I, and I assume the position, I get on my knees, and God will not take this craving from me, as according to the AA program. And the reason I say that is because uh, I have allowed this thing to come into my life after wow. I have given myself to the Lord. God wants you, not, not as a form of punishment, God wants you to clear those things up, the ones that you brought to yourself, yes. so that you can see him clearly again, here, and for the afterlife. But praying for God to take away the urges, in the sense that these are things you brought into your life to begin with, you need yes. to clean your own house. 
Okay. You can pray for strength to do so. But you need to clean your own house. You brought them in. You built where them is, up. Where is the joy? Where I, I do that. And, 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 and have I have I gone across the line? Nope. Is no is no line to cross there. The only line you can cross is one of death after rejecting the whole sum of what I, Christ has offered. I have not. I of have not. I have course not. not. I have not rejected it. Of course not. You're on an ugly path. And you're going to get past it. And you're going to reverse it. And you're going to work the steps. And you're going to do the process to get this out of your system prayerfully and with guidance of God. And you're going to get to the other side. You know, it's been a long path, my Lord. And one that's worth it. Well, it is worth it, but, uh, you know, it, it, it's so hard. Um, I, uh, can, can, can you please keep talking? Sure. I just want you to think about the process in which you've gone through. Some people get to to step seven and they read something like humbly ask him to remove our shortcomings and they think that it's a process of just reversing everything and it's not you can't, you're not looking to, for God to do it all you're looking for God to give you the strength to do what you need to do to get better I'm such a carnal Christian uh, what, is, what is your take on, on uh on, uh, no, I'm not giving myself to the world, but I am entangled. Man, you're human. Well, <laughs> worry a little less about you and a little more about God. Don't I, get so I do try, sir. Don't get so caught up in what you're doing. It's not about you in that sense. It's about God. It's about what God does. What God can do. It's not about you of what makes Christianity different. Every self-help book, every other belief system, it's all about uh, them. And look, you're going to get Christ consciousness, and you're going to get this, and you're going to overcome that, and you're going to become a this. And, it's, and that's not what Christianity is. Christianity is about God, and about God being the author and finisher of your faith. Yes, amen. Um, I have been told that my faithfulness does not depend on God's faithfulness. No. But you have and what... I, I so struggle. Well, welcome to the world, brother. It is a place of many struggles. And you will continue, but you will have something that other people that struggle don't, and that is the gospel, the good news. That if you believe and you have that into your life and you have God leading your life, then even through the struggles, you're doing better than most. I do care. Of course you do. You wouldn't have called if you didn't care. Well, okay. Um, I'm sitting in my driveway. Um, going through all this, you know, I, I've got a lot of things going on in my life, and, uh, and I am, I am, uh, I'm not sober today, sir. Okay. It, 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 uh, I was sober yesterday, but today, my heart, I was pounding, I, um, and, uh, I, I've got church I have to go to, and, and well, not have to, but... You're going to go to church drunk? Let me tell you something, and I don't know if this is the first time you've heard the show, third time you've heard the show, but let me tell you something. Then if you've listened for any length of time, you know that the only thing I do to those that are imbibed is hang up. Because okay. my words are of no value to you when you have not even valued yourself today to hear them. Okay. So... Rather than going down that dance, I will leave you with this. Okay. And that is that the process of imbibing may numb certain parts of who you are to allow you to do some things in your own head. Okay. 
not the truth. The truth is you'll be able to do all of them without the alcohol at all. Okay? But if you, if you are trying to receive God's word, if you are trying to really receive what God has for you, you are piling pillow on top of pillow, on top of mattress, on top of pillow, on top of mattress, and pretending like you're trying to hear him. Why do I do that? You do it because you think that it, it cuts the edges off. It takes some of the pain away. Takes some. You think you can't focus because of the pain. So you dull the pain. But I'm telling you, the dullingness of the pain is taking away... Anymore. But the dullingness of the pain is not allowing you to connect with God. Any doctor will tell you that they want to know what your pain is first. They have to. Because without that, then they're not going to be able to diagnose you properly. They're not going to know what's really going on. You have to feel it. You have to feel it, and you have to let God work with you around that pain. That's just the truth. I know it's not the fun thing to hear to be said, or uh, not what you want to hear. But I will tell you this. You can call any time as long as you're sober. You are listening to the Jesus Christ Show. To ask your question, dial 800-520-1534. If you thought you missed the lowest mortgage rates in history, you're in luck because they're back. Mortgage rates are near historic lows again. So if you have a mortgage, refinance it and forget it. You'll never have to worry about refinancing again. Network Capital Funding is offering a low 15-year fixed rate at 1.875% with a 2.01 APR. Incredible! Network Capital has built a reputation for saving people time and money with our unique process that's fast, simple, and secure. Our 15-year fixed rate is 1.875% with a 2.01 APR. Second chances don't come often, and you may never see these rates again. So refinance it and forget it. That's a 15-year fixed rate at 1.875%. Yes, 1.875% with a 2.01 APR. Call the experts at Network Capital now. Call 800-500-NUMBER-1-HIT. 800-501-HIG. As in home run. Call now and save big on your refi. 800-500-1-HIT. 800-500-1-HIT. 800-500-1-4-48. This report is sponsored by Southern California. California Edison. Southern California Edison's time of use rates let you lower your electricity costs during hours when renewable energy is more abundant. Learn more at sce.com slash time of use rates. Joe Biden's approval numbers are hitting record lows. Biden is confused, rambling, and incoherent. Now, Grant Stinchfield is on Newsmax TV asking who's really in charge of Washington. Tonight, Stinchfield reveals the truth about Kamala Harris, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, and the secret people behind Joe Biden. Newsmax is your trusted news source. Find us on all major cable systems and download the free Newsmax app on your smartphone now. Watch Newsmax anytime, anywhere, because it's real news for real people. Oh, hi, Angel. Hi, Devil. Uh-oh, is she shopping again? Calm down. She does browsing electric toothbrushes. Oh, is she using public Wi-Fi? Honey, stop. It's not safe. Angel, relax. Go ahead, girl. Password is hack me. You don't try to be unsafe when you're online, but it can be tempting. It's asking for her passport info to buy a toothbrush? Oh, sounds legit to me. I don't think so, Devil. Norton 360 with LifeLock helps keep your digital life safer. With device security, a VPN to keep your Wi-Fi activity private, and identity theft protection. All in one. No one can prevent all cybercrime or identity theft, but everyone can opt in to cyber safety. It includes free shipping in exchange for her 401k info. That makes sense. Well, how can you pass up free shipping? Save 25% or more off your first year of Norton 360 with LifeLock at Norton.com slash join. That's 25% off at Norton.com slash join. 
Now, retirement means different things to different people, right? The pandemic was an eye-opener to lots of us. It showed us what retirement might be like, and for many of us, it's a tempting alternative to working. But lockdowns have also shown us that to do those things we really want to do 24-7, we need to be able to fund them properly. You can't travel without money, you can't play golf without belonging to the golf club, and you can't buy that ranch without the cash either. It looks like traditional savings routes are going to be hit by inflation. So will your returns beat it, or will you be going backwards? It might be time to talk to Noble Gold. They've helped thousands of people like you to have comfortable retirements using the tax advantages of precious metals IRAs. This month, Noble Gold is giving away a free America the Beautiful Solid Silver 5-ounce coin with any qualifying plan you start. So visit noblegoldinvestments.com or call us at 877-646-5347. So visit noblegoldinvestments.com or call us at 877-646-5347. Southern California Edison wants you to know that downed wires are dangerous. Never approach or touch a downed wire or anything in contact with it. Stay away and call 911. Stay alert, stay safe. Learn more at sce.com slash stay safe. Checking day upon traffic, we do have a crash in the Baldwin Park area. 10 miles on a trance mosquito that is blocking the right shoulder. New Roland Heights, 60 east on a stairway drive, put out for a wrecked air blocking the right lane. And we still have a work zone in Ontario, 10 eastbound between Milliken and the I-15. Three right lanes phoned off until 5 a.m. Monday. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm John White. It is the Jesus Christ Show. I am your holy host. Happy to be with you this Sunday as I'm with you every single Sunday right here answering your questions and talking about the things that truly matter in life and the afterlife. I encourage you to be bold and brave and go to that phone with your theology question or life situation question anywhere in the U.S. of A. Dial 800-520-1534. That's 800-520-1534. When it comes to the people that call the program, my only hope is moments of inspiration the desire to point them in a particular direction or maybe see things a little differently. And if that starts, the starting of that process is somebody richly imbibed. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to deal with somebody who's drunk or otherwise impaired. So we've made it mostly the case of the program to not have the deeper discussions with somebody who's drunk because then it can be almost comedic or it ends up just being uh, sounding like they're just fodder and that's not appropriate. That's why we allow them to go and sober up and give a call when they're sober. The 12-step the 12 program is often one that shows its face on the program because people that are going through whether it be food or alcohol or narcotics, they're trying to work a 12-step uh, program of some kind to be able to get themselves back on their feet. And we applaud that most of the time, and there are some bad ones. Most of the time, working the 12 step, the 12 steps that they have in that program in their big book will, uh, is, is a great starting place. And we applaud that. From biblical, biblical truth. And we applaud that. When they lose sight of that, or they don't know who their higher power is, that and that alone is when it becomes a problem. You are listening to the Jesus Christ Show. To ask your question, dial 800-520-1534. I 
I'm Brian Broom, and live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom, a surge of fans waiting to enter Pauley Pavilion for a UCLA men's basketball game against Villanova panicked some a week after a crowd surge killed nine people at the Astroworld concert in Houston. Bruins athletic director Martin Germond apologized for the problem. He says it was caused by inadequate staffing. Fans waited for hours to get into the arena, and some students said the staffing shortage made things worse by the people cutting in line. But nobody was hurt in the surge. California is considering a ranking system for heat waves that would be similar to the ones used for hurricanes and tornadoes. An assembly bill has been proposed to create the early warning system in an effort to prevent heat-related deaths and illnesses. The ranking system would have three categories, with one being the least dangerous and three being the most dangerous heat conditions. If the plan goes through, California would be the first state in the country to implement a heat wave warning system. And the U.S. is facing a shortage of Santa. But maybe not to the mall. The demand for Santa's this holiday season is way up after Santa's were out of gigs last year during the pandemic. HireSanta.com founder Mitch Allen says while demand is up, about 700 Santas have died in the past year, more than half of them because of COVID-19 complications. Santas are typically older, putting them in the high-risk category for COVID-19. Allen says that risk may be a major factor in why mall Santas are opting to stay home instead of greeting children this Christmas. Amy King, KFI News. <laughs> There's a crash on the 210 in Azusa. <laughs> it's going to be on the eastbound side of the 210 right at Azusa Avenue. This one is uh, blocking the carpool lane. Look out for slow traffic as you approach. Two rail tow on there. 210 is on Riverside Avenue. Two car collision there blocking the right lane. And we have some road breaks in the Ontario area. 10 eastbound between Billiton and the I-15. Two bright lanes coming off there until Friday and Monday. Traffic is back up to the Archibald. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Jonathan Weiss. Keep your home sanitized with Coit Services. Save up to 30%. Visit Coit.com. South on weather from KFI. Sunny and hot today. Mid-70s to low 80s at the beaches. Upper 80s to low 90s in Metro LA and OC. Upper 80s to mid-90s in the Inland Valleys. And upper 80s to mid-90s in the IE. Clear skies tonight. Cooler temperatures tomorrow. Weekly local live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Brian Bruma. Why would a plumber just tell me what it costs to unclog my drain over the phone? Is it that complicated? No, it's not. It makes no sense at all. They obviously have a price. Whoa, you've got a nice aroma. Who are you? Mike Diamond, the Smell Good Summer. Will you tell me how much sun out my drain? $99. But you haven't seen it. Don't need to. Doesn't matter if it's a kitchen sink or a mainline sewer stoppage. The Smell Good Plumbers at Mike Diamond will unclog almost any drain for $99. Almost? Yeah, there are a few exceptions, but you can read all about them on our website before you call. Just go to thesmellgoodplumber.com. Wow, you're like up front and everything. I just called a guy named Bubba who wouldn't tell me anything. No Bubba's here, ma'am. Just professional plumbers who show up on time, smell good, and unclog drains for $99. Call us. 1-800-446-MIKE. Contact your license number 399 Want the best possible price on your next car? Download the Roto app. That's R-O-Z-O. Roto lets you browse thousands of vehicles from local dealers right from your phone and even offers contact-free delivery. And with Roto, there's never any haggling. The price you see is pre-negotiated and already includes every available discount. There's no hidden fees and no surprises. Just 100% transparent pricing. So for an easy car buying experience, download the Roto app now or check out Roto.com. That's R-O-C-L.com. I had three cousins pass away from COVID-19. One of them I was very close with. This guy taught me how to get on the line as a football player. What I think people were not getting that way is death, whether it's their own life or the people that are around. Take it from me, the vaccine saves lives. Find a vaccine near you at myturn.ca.gov. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Southern California Edison wants you to know that downed wires are dangerous. Never approach or touch a downed wire or anything in contact with it. Stay away and call 911. Stay alert, stay safe. Learn more at fce.com slash stay safe. 
November is a great time to reconnect with family and friends. It's also a great time to put a new BMW on the top of your holiday list. I'm Danny McKenna, South Bay BMW. Everyone knows that cars are in short supply, but having two local dealerships means we have twice the inventory to choose from. And with incredible special lease offers from BMW Financial Services, it's time to stop dreaming and start driving. Visit SouthBayBMW.com for details, give us a call, or swing by the dealership just off the 405 and Torrance. South Bay BMW, where we make BMW wishes come true. Have a safe and happy holiday. If you think your dishwasher is only good for cleaning or that your washer dryer is just for laundry, think again. Those appliances can also reduce your impact on climate change if you make sure not to run them between peak hours of 4 to 9 p.m. Because outside those times, there's more renewable energy for them to use. SCE Time of Use Rate, an easy way to make a change for the better. Visit SCE.com slash TOU rate for more information. Don't miss our iHeartRadio Holiday Special with exclusive performances from Kelly Clarkson, Michael Buble, Train, and Pentatonic. Wednesday the 24th, starting at 7 p.m. Watch on iHeartRadio's Facebook and YouTube channel. Plus, check out the exclusive VR performance in the Venues app on Oculus Quest. New holiday gifts are arriving at a TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods store near you for way less than you expect. Endless selection, great prices. All season long, shop TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods today. You know, for the past 10 years, you have generously given to Katarina's Club, raising millions of dollars and hundreds of tons of food. But here's the thing about hunger. It doesn't end with one meal. The kids still need to eat every day. And KFI remains committed to keeping those children fed. Pastathon 2021, our 11th annual, is coming soon. Join us on Giving Tuesday, November 30th, on KFI AM 640. More stimulating talks. It is the Jesus Christ Show. I am your holy host. Happy to be with you this Sunday as I am with you every single Sunday right here. Answering your questions and talking about the things that truly matter in life. And of course the afterlife. I encourage you to be bold, to be brave. Go to that phone with your theology question or uh, life situation question anywhere in the U.S. of A. Dial 800-520-1534. That's 800-520-1534. Paul, welcome to the Jesus Christ Show. Good morning, Jesus. First of all, thank you so much for everything you've done in my life and the world. And the fact that you touch my soul every day. So thank you. Um, the question I have is in some ways simple, but probably the most difficult question. And that is this. You know, I'm a devout Catholic. Try to go to reconciliation several times a year. And, uh, you know, obviously before my last breath, I'll be before you. And my question is, you know, I sometimes worry. As best I can, Lord knows, I'm not perfect. Um, I sometimes think I'm not the best father. I have a developmentally disabled son who I love very, very much, but sometimes I do get a little frustrated, um, is, you know, there's a chance, you know, that I certainly want to go see my father and sister again in heaven, but there's also a chance, that, you know, the final decision could be thumbs down. I guess, what can I do um, as, a, as a human and an a individual that I love me that could, you know, um, prevent me from um, having that happen. Well, this gets into, uh, this weighs into religion, because now you get into tenets or beliefs of Catholicism versus Protestantism and things like that. So let's, uh, for the sake of the tiebreaker, um, let's look towards scripture uh, and We'll kind of wade ourselves through the scripture and through uh, the reasoning of God and find in scripture. 
first of all, um, you've already done the heavy lifting in the sense that you, you already believe and understand that you have a soul to be with. That's the first step. And that it's important Amen. to focus. So you, you have already moved in that direction. Secondly, um, you know who the owner of that soul righteously is, and that's God. And you've given that to God. And so you need to, at this point, trust in that. The simplicity is, um, in Scripture, uh, you have the Philippian jailer asking Paul and Cyrus, if you remember, if, you know, what must I do to be saved in Acts 16, 30? And the reply uh, from Paul and Silas is, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Um, it goes on to say, you and your household. So that is, in a nutshell, the focus of your faith. To understand you have a soul and that soul needs to be saved. To understand um, that there's that second birth that is talked about. And people, because of the term, is born again. And, and it, it, everyone assumes that that's the, you know, the denominational term or a Protestant term. And it's not. It's a, a Christian term across the board. That there is this second birth. And you've taken that second birth because of your faith and where you stand. So as far as your soul, um, there are those that would argue as to, you know, when that soul is purified, and there is religion that will go back and forth, but Scripture is very clear. It is not your doing, but the doing of God. And God has done that. God has said that you have been cleansed and you are clean and that your soul belongs to him and him alone and um, that while God is living in your heart there is no place there's no vacancy for the enemy or the devil um, to do anything doesn't mean you can't be tempted um, doesn't mean that you don't have sin uh, Romans 3.23 for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God now, that's done. Every sin you have done is after the crucifixion and the blood on the cross. It's already been paid for. There is nothing you can do as a believer, as someone of faith, that transcends the power of the blood on the cross. So if you are walking in line with God, not you know, wavering, thinking, well, gosh, I had a bad day today, so therefore I'm out of the, out of favor with God. That's not how it works. The relationship that, there's no relationship on earth that is that way. A true relationship has ebb and, and flow and um, good days and bad days and all of those, but consistency is the key to keep coming back, to keep focusing on the things of God. And when you fall down, pick yourself up, um, confess those sins um, mm -hmm. to the Father and and, and uh, refocus yourself. But God trusts you and put a very precious special needs child in your care on purpose. And when you have bad days, God knew those bad days would happen. But God trusts you through those bad days that you will be consistent overall in doing what needs to be done to give love and care for someone who needs it to a degree more so than others. So your focus should be on uh, taking care of that child, taking care of yourself, doing the things of God when asked, uh, being prepared uh, to be an example. But those are the things you're doing. You shouldn't be spending your time worried about your salvation. That's God's job, not yours. Your job is to serve God, um, to be an example and an ambassador of Christ, um, but not to worry about your salvation. It's a waste of time. 
Well, thank you, Jesus. And right there, you just made me feel better. So I, can I ask one other quick question? As, as a Catholic, of course, you know, we also believe in purgatory. And, and in essence, at least in my mind, purgatory is actually a good place because, in essence, you know, it's a place where ultimately at one point, you know, we will, after we're cleansed, that we will go to heaven. Um, do you sort of concur with that or that feeling? The concept of purgatory is not only one that primarily is adhered to by Catholicism um, and doesn't have much place throughout the majority of Protestantism, so it's not agreed upon across the board in Christendom. Mm -hmm. um, however, having said that, there is an additional asterisk for the Catholic because the church has changed um, not that long ago as a matter of fact as to what their stance is on purgatory. The question that you need to ask yourself is what at, at what point would there be a necessity? There is something that is spoken about certainly um, in scripture but at what point would that be because it says in scripture to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. It also says it was appointed to man for man once to die and then the judgment. There is not any there's not any thing in, in scripture that says that there's going to be this holding zone. And then you have to ask yourself, well, what is the purpose of that holding zone? Purification. Well, God purifies, not time. And in heaven, there is no time. So what would that look like to be in that point? Also, on the cross, I didn't say in a week or so, once you're purified, you'll be with me in paradise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said today the way we in paradise. So there's a lot of things there that um, cause pause when it comes to the concept, uh, some traditional concepts of purgatory and what would be taking place at that or either in Islam or any of these um, concepts as to what would be taking place and um, uh, a, a, a purification process. There are many that would say it does not jive with scripture and that there is an unnecessary step um, in the process. There's no reason uh, in the minds of many, theologically, to have that step. So really, the thing that you need to focus on primarily is that one, the fact that you care as much as you do about your salvation, your soul, and your relationship with God um, brings somebody who is passionate and whose heart is in the hands of God to begin with. And then secondly, that God uh, has created the salvation process to begin with so that uh, those who believe and consequently fruit will come from, you know, a tree that is healthy and and cared for and planted properly will bear fruit and you will bear fruit as well but that fruit isn't what gets you into heaven heaven is what gives you that fruit and so during um, your process of faith and believing knowing that on the cross i said it was finished it was paid for it was taken care of and it is and that you should be uh, confident in that because god says so and to stand in that promise, to stand um, with that relationship, to stand with the truth and not get lost. Um, you are listening to the Peter's Christ Show. To ask your question, Sally Hunter, 520 
I am one of thousands of women with not a breast cancer or indigestion, with a breast cancer that has spread to other parts of the body. I am living in the moment and taking eyebrows, chocolate cycles. Eyebrows, the 125 milligram tablet with an aromatase inhibitor is for postmenopausal women or for men with HR positive, HER2 negative, and BC as the first hormonal based therapy. Be a majority. Ask your doctor about eyebrows and visit eyebrows.com. Eyebrows may cause low white blood cell count, but can lead to serious infection. Eyebrows may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to die. Call your doctor right away if you have newer worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking eyebrows, call your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet count, infections, tiredness, nausea, poor mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Hey parents, have you ever wondered how to talk to your kids about the crazy things happening in the world? As great as schools can be, they often don't teach important things like hard work, how to start a business, the golden rule, or how the economy oh, works. Sorry, it's this time to learn about these ideas like these. For it's me, it's up to you. So, how do you go about it? By telling your kids stories. And this that's the power behind the kind of beautifully illustrated Puddle Twins book. The Puddle Twins is a series of children's books that have sold over 2 million copies already. These books teach important ideas that teachers and textbooks don't really discuss. And they make it super easy for you to help your kids learn the values that our country was founded upon. If you want to help your kids understand how the world works, so they can be a positive part of it, go to PuddleTwinsRadio.com to get your set of books. You'll get a 35% off discount and free activity with the too. That's little Well, you're almost.